Today we're just going to go back to the basics. Now I've got a small bait, ultralight rod. We're just fishing a little creek. I've never fished here before. It's just on the side of the road. It looked like a good spot. So got a little something that I think is going to mimic this forage really well that these fish are going after. This little guy I brought with me today is called the Rebel Raider. And it's one of my favorite baits to fish creeks with in the later part of the year when the water starts to get kind of cold because you can work it in any part of the water column. These are slow sinking ultralight baits, so it's all about how you position your rod tip. If you keep your rod tip up high in your retrieval, you can keep that bait up in the water column. But if you bring your rod tip down low, you can kind of encourage that bait to sink and get down deeper to where some of the fish are at. Had to kind of hike down a ways, but found a good little area right here. There's a lot of current flowing right next to this deeper hole. And so what I'm doing is I'm casting right on the edge of that current and letting that Rebel Raider sink down close to the bottom. And as soon as I'm picking that bait up, I'm just going with a real slow retrieve. This water's really cold today, so these fish aren't going to want it very fast. I'm going to keep it real slow, see if we can't get some bites. I got fish. Look at that. Small mouth. One thing you'll notice about this raider is there's no bill or lip on the front of that bait to give it any sort of wiggling action. So what you have to do is use your rod tip and little flips of your wrist to make that bait dart and twitch back and forth, almost like a walk the dog underneath the water. I'll keep my rod tip about waist high and I'll just twitch it. Have a little bit of slack in the line and that slack combined with that twitch is gonna make that bait dart back and forth in the water. It was right off the edge of that current. Oh boy, these fish are cold. I was just walking that radar underneath the surface there and just loaded up on it. Nice little creek smallmouth on the radar. Another thing you can do if you're not getting bites is change up your retrieval speed a little bit. Instead of just twitching that bait back to you constantly, you can add a couple pauses in there maybe just one or two big twitches, let that bait sink, mix it up a little bit and see if anything triggers bites. Not very big, but these little sunfish are fun. You can tell he just kind of slapped at it with his body there. He didn't actually want to eat that thing. I want to walk out there just a little bit and try and cast into there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Had one coming at it. Oh, there's one right there. I watched him eat that right in front of me. What a little small mouth. Ah! He's spazzing. I was walking that radar underwater and I was watching it go left, right, left, right, and I saw him tracking that thing back and forth. 
Ah, that's fun. That's so much fun. Well, it's been a fun day. Caught a handful of fish. This creek's been absolutely beautiful. That's what small water fishing's all about. Hey everybody, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and in the comments below, I want you to tell me some of your favorite places to small water fish.